Uh, today, let's check if you understand logical statement correctly. Let's see Nobita Kung from Doraemon. He's now studying for an exam and his mom want to make sure that he passed it this time. So she put an incentive to uh, Nobita Kung, like putting, putting a statement in the quote that if Nobita Kung gets A in math, then he, he will get a new Pokemon card. You see that this is in the format of conditional statement P then Q, where P is statement that Nobita gets A, Q is statement that he gets a new card. We say that P is sufficient for Q because once P is true, once he gets A, then you can conclude that Q is true. He will get a new card. Now, let's check if you understand this correctly. What happens if Nobita Kung gets C, not A? Does it mean that he will not get a new card? The answer is... Ding, ding, ding. The answer is... We don't know. If he doesn't get A in math, is not, is not uh, conclusive to say that Q doesn't hold that he doesn't get a new card, he may or may not get a new card if he doesn't get A. All right. Now let's take a look at another statement. If someone says, um, if Nobita gets a new card, then he gets A in math. Again, this is in the uh, express as P then Q, but, but now P is the statement that Nobita gets a new card, Q is the statement that he gets A in math. In this case, if you see, if, if you go to school, if you see Nobita Kung gets a new card, now we can immediately conclude again that he must have gotten A in math. And now if we take a look at the statement P then Q, uh, mathematically we know that the contrapositive way of saying that is not Q then not P. All right, these two guys are equivalent. Not Q, then not P, not P is, 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 the, is the statement that if he doesn't get A, then he will not get a new card. So getting A in math is very necessary for P. Oh, sorry. <laughs> getting A in math is very necessary for Nobita Kung to get that card. Is that necessary? Is that... Uh, critical. So in this case, we say that Q is a necessary condition for P to hold. Now, I think uh, when you read mathematical textbook, uh, another common way to, to see necessary condition is something like, Nobita gets a new card only if he gets A in math. Okay, so uh, this is uh, another another form you you see uh, people write it uh, you know in in mathematical textbook. Now, if you combine both of them, how can you express uh, uh, both the sufficient and necessary conditions? Nobita gets a new Pokemon card even only if he gets A in math, or P even only if Q. So in that sense, it means that P, the statement P and Q are equivalent. Seeing that he gets a new card is the same that knowing that he gets A in math. And if you don't see him get a new card, if, if he doesn't get a new card, you can also conclude that that because he doesn't get in math. Not because he doesn't have money, not because uh, not because of something else. All right. So P even only if it Q uh, will be a very powerful result in mathematics if you see uh, these phrases because you can use uh, each of them interchangeably. That's basically what it means. Now uh, let's check your understanding. I have these two. Uh, statements. I don't know yet if each of them is true or false. All right. 
Uh, st the first statement is x square is less than y square, even only if x is less than y. Is it true? Right. The second statement is that, is that uh, z is a complex number, and you have some function of z. You take the modulus of that function. Um, the modulus, uh, the modulus of a function of z is less than or equal to zero, even only if that function value itself is equal to zero. Okay, please, uh, if you're interested, leave your answer in the comment below.